what's up guys, Trex here, and welcome to Don't Starve, All's Well That Maxwell. This is the insanely popular, popular little Lovecraftian survival game that I never really played whenever it was at the peak of its popularity, and with the, another, with the next game in the series, Don't Starve Together, coming out, I figured, why not give this one a shot? So, let's dive in. Alright, so, wait. There's a morgue button down here. Obituaries, Days Live, DC's Cause of Death Mode. Okay then. So it looks like we're going to need to start a new game uh, character. So we have the gentleman scientist who grows a magnificent beard, uh, and nobody else. Well then. Uh, so let's just select this character world. Okay, not going to get into that. Let's just start and see what happens. And it looks like we're in. We have this very dapper little Grim Fandango-esque guy here with us. He's kind of just talking to us. Okay, uh, we are in. Ooh, well, this is quite interesting. So what- Oh my gosh, it's a bird. That must lead to the kingdom of the bunny men. Or it could just be a rabbit hole. You never know. Pick grass. Grass, I choose you! Interesting thing about this game, there is no jump button, and some very disgruntled looking pigmen. I can pick this evil flower, it's just standing there making monologues about how it's going to kill me and then not actually doing anything. It's also telling me it's plan to take over the world. Home time! All these pigs are running to their homes and turning on the lights. I suppose I should probably find some shelter, or I could just continue staring these carrots that doesn't seem to phase any of them. It appears that this game is the opposite of Minecraft. Ah, I finally found flint. Now I can make some tools, it looks like. A pickaxe or an axe. So I'm just kind of... Oak. Uh, I made two axes. Ooh, a campfire. This looks like a nice staple of shelter. Ah, I built a pickaxe. What can I do with this? I shall feed you baby trees. This man is a naturalist nightmare. And it looks like it. it is morning, so we have survived our first night in the land of Don't Starve. Oh, I have found a gold nugget and some rocks and flint. Ooh, science. I can make a science machine. Well, I know what I'm doing. And we have a science machine that is giving us, it looks like, all sorts of new recipes. Food, uh, structures, refined magic, and dress. Ooh, what's under dress? Oh, you can prototype stuff. That's interesting. Oh, that's weird. So if you prototype something, you get to unlock the recipe after that. And so, for example, I took stone and made cut stone. So let's do that again and see what happens. Aha. Well, that's a nice touch. He sets down his axe when he's picking up saplings and other such things. Oh, that's beautiful. So I'm beginning to see why this game is actually quite fun, and I'm actually getting quite interested in it. This is a nice little gym. Um, I'm going to uh, pick up the science machine, see if we can take it anywhere else. Uh, we can't. But yeah, I'm seeing why this game is so popular. Uh, I'm actually really quite enjoying this. I think I might play a bit more of this uh, beyond the episode. So it looks like the next thing that we can build in the... Sci in the science category is the alchemy engine, but we do need six gold nuggets. Oh, it look he said it's getting dark soon, so let's try and make a torch if we can. Oh, mushrooms are popping up. I guess they only pick up at, come up at night, though. So let's find some grass so that we can try and make some torches. But I am, I am far, far out from those lands that I once knew where there's grass and twigs aplenty. Now it's just twigs and evergreens and rocks. Ah, a gold nugget, and I can make a science machine, I believe. Oh, what is this? Walk to headstone. Uh, should we examine it? Here lies some guy, blah, blah, blah. That is probably a future self. Oh gosh, what is that thing? Those appear to be spiders. Okay, time to be an arachnophobe and run away. Ah, we have found grass. Finally, we can make torches. That is a good thing. You can't carry more stuff. Oh, so this is our inventory. We don't have, like, a massive inventory like Trey or Minecraft. We just have this. It appears that our little character is an arsonist or a pyromaniac, and we can light trees on fire. Oh, gosh! Okay, that was a bad idea. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, morsel. Oh, gosh. 
I have too much power. This is too fun. It looks like a bunch of Swiss cheese. Not It doesn't necessarily look like fire. Oh, it's raining. Does the rain put out the fire? Please say the rain puts out the fire for some added realism. That'd be nice. Does it? Oh, I don't see it. Yep, these trees just continue to burn. I shall set more Swiss cheese fi- Oh. Oh, my torch is gone. Oh. Dang it. And it is completely dark. That is a slight problem. What is that? What is happening? Okay. And we died! How did we die? We survived one day. Seriously, guys, that was Don't Starve. I I actually really enjoyed that game. I'll probably play some more of that. I just don't know what was going on at all. So, yeah, we died after one day. But we did manage to set an entire forest on fire with some Swiss cheese. Uh, Swiss cheese animations. We did manage to craft a science machine. But, yeah, that was quite interesting. And the pigmen are back out to play. I wonder if they get struck by lightning. They turn into zombies. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. A same link to this game will be in the description below, as well as the game website. So I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.